I like it. <laughs> What's up guys, my name is Beard, and today I'm going to beatbox battle myself from seven years ago. This is a battle from La Coupe in 2013, and uh, yeah, we're gonna just play uh, my my rounds, my younger self rounds. Uh, this is when I was 2013, that's seven years ago. Then I was, okay, I was 17 years old, uh, so I'm battling my 17 year old self. I'm 24 right now, so uh, here we go. Guys, I'm excited, I'm just gonna play his round, my round, and uh, and then I'm going to do an answer, okay? Uh, yeah, I need I need a time. I need a time because it's one minute thirty per round, and uh, so it's fair for both parties. Okay, are you guys ready? I'm going to play his round first, one minute thirty, and then I'm going to do my answer. Then he's gonna beatbox again, and I'm doing my answer again. Okay, so I'm excited, man. I'm uh, I'm excited. I have nothing prepared, so I'm just gonna freestyle my rounds and uh, see uh, how good this will be. Okay, here we go. Me from seven years ago. Let's go. Okay, guys. Add a little kick to my snail. <laughs> time let's continue with my round from back then here we go <laughs> Oh, my God. 
breath man it's really hard to beatbox while i'm sitting down this was 2013 by the way this is was whew, uh, i need to catch a breath this was um my most influential battle in the world like no <clears throat> i'm still a little bit out of breath but uh this is uh one of the most influential battles for me like this was one of the cra most crazy battles that i've ever ever been in um this was my not my first international battle but my first like big international battle i did one small battle in belgium before this one and i was so nervous that's why i couldn't finish my second round you could hear me like struggle um doing the last beats because i was so like feeling nauseous i had this a lot of times when i started off beatboxing where i would just where I would just feel very nauseous uh, while going on stage. And when I would beatbox, I would just feel it coming up, like almost like a feeling that I had to puke. So then uh, um, I just really had to like, in the end of the, the second round, usually I really had to stop early because I would almost like actual, actually puke. So for everyone out there having stage fright, I would say like do it a lot, even though it seems counterintuitive, um, go on stage as much as you can because it will get better. Like, I don't think a lot of you guys had the stage fright I had where I would almost, I, I puked many times. Like I almost puked many times on stage and uh, and that's not a nice feeling, but I really wanted to push myself in order to feel more comfortable on stage. And I feel like nowadays I feel more and more comfortable. So yeah, <clears throat> take that lesson. <clears throat> Anyways, this uh, this battle uh, was so crazy. It was against Bobbly and uh, uh he was, especially at that time, was a big influence on my beatbox. So it was uh, nerve-wracking beatboxing against him. Um, Bubbly is, by the way, the guy. Uh, he is so, so, so powerful. And at that time, I wasn't very powerful, but I was technical. And um, you can hear me in the second round. I say something like, okay, guys, that was like his thing. Like, Bubbly would say that all the time uh, during... <laughs> Everyone would laugh when he would say like, okay, guys, okay, now it makes no sense. But back then it was really funny. So uh, yeah, this is a crazy battle, man. Uh, I, I hope you like this content. And um, I know I've been like going on around a little bit, but uh, I hope uh, you like this content. And uh, I uh, hope to see you on uh, next Monday for the next one. I really enjoyed this, uh, this one. So uh, <laughs> as you can tell, this one was crazy. Okay, guys. See you guys next one. Building it, 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 building it,